All right, what's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. I ask what's going on as if somebody's gonna respond to me like, oh, you know, not much, man. You know, just over here watching your video. Uh, anyways, so we're gonna go, oh man. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go over a quick trade recap that I did today. It was more of a quicker trade than my last previous few videos and also we're back on the options trading account here the last few videos were also shares trading type of videos while this is an options trade video um, so that's just kind of pointing out some similarities and differences here between our last few videos uh, mainly differences not really many similarities because the other lessons were you know a little bit longer trades more shares trades so I'm just trying to show you guys that there's various different things that you guys can do in the markets uh, you know you can do all day trades you can do overnight trades you can do quick morning trades um, you know it, it depends on what you like what opportunities you see what you plan for what your personal like niches or niche I don't know what the word is or how to pronounce that niche niche uh, anyways so I just wanted to show you guys this because I get a lot of questions from people saying like hey man you know I work nine to five can I do this some people say I work five to nine can I do this you know some people say I don't even want to work at all man is it possible just to make money by just putting it in there and checking it in a week so anyways now that I did my ranting and rambling I just wanted to kind of comment on a little you know differences here from the last videos and if you did miss those other videos go check them out you'll be able to learn a little bit of this a little bit of that because they are different types of trades uh, so without any further ado let's just jump into it here so we were trading Nvidia. We were trading calls. So calls means you make money when the stock goes up. Now we made one thousand three hundred dollar profit on it, and the total cost of the trade cost less than six thousand dollars. Now that doesn't mean that I was risking six thousand dollars. All that means is that in order to place this trade, you needed to have six thousand or even less than six thousand dollars in your account. Um, again, I like to use a used car example. It says if you go buy a used car for you know five thousand dollars, thinking you can sell it for you know seven or eight thousand dollars, you find out oh no, it needs new tires. The tires are bad. Or oh no, I bought the wrong model. It was the other model that was expensive. Yeah, you didn't lose your whole five that five six thousand dollars. You're not gonna go just go drop the car off at the junkyard. You know, you have a plan. You plan accordingly. You're not just saying, hey, I'm gonna go buy this car because I think I can sell it for more. And if I can't sell it for more, I'm just gonna send it to the junkyard. That's not how trading works. So I'm just kind of speaking to the beginners here. I know this is kind of, you know, normal stuff to people that know all about this kind of, you know, trading and everything. So anyways, let me just pause real quickly and I'm going to ask you guys if you could be so kind. Please press the thumbs up button, my friends. It helps us out a lot. I've been trying to do a little bit better for you guys on these videos, trying to keep them a little bit shorter to make sure I keep you guys, you know, attention while not boring you guys, while at the same time giving you guys as much information as I can here. So if you guys could please be so kind, take a second out of your time, press the thumbs up button, the like button. Apparently it really helps out the channel and I'm a man of my word. I like making this deal. If you really find out that you hated this video by the end of the video, then not only can you unlike it, but then you can go ahead and dislike it and hit the thumbs down button. But if you found out that you liked it or learned even a single thing from it, then hey, I'd ask that you keep that thumbs up button there. So now let's jump into this and break everything down, talk about where I got in, why I got in, how I got in and all of that. And then we will wrap it up for you guys here. So again, it was calls. We were trading options again. Now, the trade in total was about 5,780. I started in with 10 contracts at 410 each. Now the way options works, one is equivalent to 100. So if you see 410, it's actually 410. So I had 10 contracts right pretty much out of the open, about 12 minutes out of the open there at 642. I got 10 contracts and we'll jump over the chart right now and show you guys where that is and why I got in there. And then about 15 minutes later, 15, 20 minutes later, I added in an additional four contracts to get myself to a rather full size position here at 420 each. So the 10, 10 times 410 each, that's $4,100 that we initially put into the trade. Then I added in an additional four at 420 each, which is $1,680 that I added into the trade. So that puts us at a total of $5,780 invested into this trade. Again, we're not risking that much. If we're wrong, it's not just going to drop to zero immediately. We're not just going to hold it till it expires. We have our plan. Uh, but again, just reiterating this idea for any beginners out there. So we're in the trade, $5,780. And then Shortly after, I mean, maybe five minutes after I added into it, we'll say 10 minutes after, the whole entire trade was less than even 30 minutes. 
I sold all 14 of them. I got out of the entire trade at 506. So remember, the total cost of the trade was 5,780. And then I sold 14 of them at 506 each. So 14 times 506 is 7,084. So imagine you bought a used car for $5,780 and then you turned around and sold it 30 minutes later for $7,084. That's where you get the profit of 1,300. Now let's jump into the charts here and talk about this. Now, one thing I want to kind of comment on before I jump in is notice I'm trading the 525 strike call. Now, for any extreme beginners out there that might not even be familiar with options, don't worry about this. You'll pick up on this idea as you learn a little bit more about it. But now these are for people that are a little new to options, but do know a little bit about it, but aren't fully like proficient to understand everything about it. Some people have a misconception or a misunderstanding that, oh, you have to wait for it to hit that strike to be profitable or to get out of the trade. Note, I'm trading the 525 strike call. When we go to the chart, you're going to notice I exited the trade. I got out of the trade. I took my profit before it even hit 525. So I'm just trying to point out all these little you know, ideas here, pinpoint this idea, pinpoint that idea for you guys. So let's break it down for you guys on the chart here now. This is the 642 area where I initially got into the 10 contracts. It did go against me a little bit, and this is where I always say you have to have a plan for your trade. You can't just get into a trade expecting it to instantly be in your favor and instantly be profitable. You have to plan accordingly. So I got into the trade right here around the 517.50 area. The reason is because, one, that's kind of like a key area, like a support area, psychological area, and it kind of looked like it was holding up around that area a little bit. So I said, okay, maybe we might start to reverse around this area. So that's where I went. Went in and I started in my position here, 10 contracts right around the 517 area. Then I added into the full size position as we basically dipped right back down to the 518 area. So ultimately, I got into the trade right around the 51750 to the 518 area. Uh, I was in the trade, you know, 410, 420. So right around that same area then. It's just that I wanted to add in a little, start in a little bit lighter size, then add in once I had some sort of confirmation. I didn't want to be at an ultimately full size position here if it did end up hitting my stop and going against me. So that's I, that idea there of entering the trade. Now, based on my risk to reward and all of that, I had a profit target of 522.50 and then I wanted to hold a few to see if we could get the 525 area that would have been my ultimate trade idea and I would have been completely out of the trade by 525 if I would have even held it to that point but we barely pinged the 522 area and I kind of saw a little bit of like a reversal pattern indicator kind of forming up there so I said all right you know what we're like 50 cents off of my profit target let me just close it out right now I mean what am I sacrificing maybe an extra few hundred dollars in these kind of markets these kind of volatile conditions uh, I, I didn't really want to uh, you know hold on to much of it of course I could have sold half of it and it would have still worked fine for me I could have even you know taken more of a profit there this, that, and the other. Uh, but again, one other idea that I personally like to do when it comes to options, especially if I'm trading a current week expiration, is I like to be a lot quicker with my exits, uh, you know, as opposed to if I'm trading shares, for example. And another idea is like a little side rule of thumb. Uh, I like to take some of my profit on my options trades when I hit about a 20% profit. And that's exactly right where I was at $1,300 profit with about 5,000 invested into the trade. You know, that that's pretty much 25, 30% profit. Uh, I might be a little off on my percentages there. Don't yell at me, guys. Um, it's just like quick math is in my head. But anyways, that's pretty much that. I just kind of a quick little scalp on this trade. Again, trying to show you guys various different types of trades. Some quick trades here. Go watch some of my other videos. You can see overnight trades. You can see longer term trades. You can see all day trades. Um, again, notice I had the 525 strike call, but did the stock ever hit 525? No. I got out of the trade at 522. So just kind of pointing out these little ideas here that we use these options as a way of trading the stock, as a tool, if you will. Uh, and that's pretty much that. I don't want to get too much into the details and breakdowns here for you guys. I already gave a lot of information here. Now, if you do want to learn more about this kind of stuff, I did put together a course, brand new lessons, fully refreshed, updated uh, as of 2020. 
I'm offering you guys, it's an early bird slash Thanksgiving slash Black Friday sale. I'm kind of putting it all together here. It's the lowest price the course will ever be. I promise you guys, it will go up from here. So if you have any interest at all in learning how to trade, uh, if you've wanted to take my course at any point at all, now is a great time to get it. I don't want to sound like I'm trying to pitch you guys the course here or waste too much time on that. I just want to present the opportunity for anyone that might be interested and let you guys know that you can catch it at literally the best price it will ever be at. It's a combination of early bird pricing, Thanksgiving pricing, Black Friday pricing. So I'm going to put the link in the description. You guys don't have to rush. I'm going to leave it there for at least throughout the Black Friday sale, uh, throughout the Black Friday Black Friday weekend and the Cyber Monday and all of that. I don't want anyone to rush. Again, I'm not trying to create urgency here. I'm just trying to present the opportunity. If anybody's interested in it, if you do have any questions on it, you can email me. I'll be happy to answer your questions and clear things up for you. Contact at bijontrades.com. But we're pretty much wrapping up the video here, guys. Again, if you didn't hit the thumbs up at the beginning, I would greatly appreciate it, especially if you maybe learned a little thing or two here or enjoyed the video. Uh, again, $1,300 profit. Just a quick, you know, less than a 30-minute scalp here on NVIDIA. We were trading calls. Uh, and that's pretty much that, guys. So we're going to wrap it up. I'll also put my links to my social medias and all that in the description as well. And we'll pretty much wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, go ahead, comment some things down below just so I know if you made it to the end. You know me. I always like to remember because right now I'm still small, believe it or not. You know, not that many people are commenting on my video. So I remember names, faces, you know, icons. So anyways, go ahead, comment down below. I'll, you know, chime in, comment back with you guys. And we'll wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will talk to you guys soon.